all right good day welcome everybody to my channel so we are going to do a reading here for aquarius we are going to do things a little different here um on my channel i don't like to do readings just one way all right there are so many different parts of ourselves that need a lot of work done on it and a lot of people don't do those things they just think that things are just going to magically always happen right that's not how it goes so we're going to pull from the self-care tips. We're going to see what advice um, we get here for each zodiac sign. And Aquarius, you are up first. All right, so let's see what we have for self-care tips for the Aquas. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share. Helps with the YouTube algorithms. All right, so one more shuffle here. Okay. All right. Oh, health checkup. All right. So that's at the bottom of the deck. So um, I don't know if this is going to be fully your message. A lot of times it ends up coming out, but not always. A lot of times, but health checkup. All right. Maybe it's been a while since you've, you know, been to the doctor, got your, you know, blood work drawn, check out, you know, your uh, blood sugar, heart, uh, blood pressure, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, no, especially if you're starting to get a little bit older here. So we do have make an altar and then the burning bowl ritual. All right. And spend time with animals. Animals bring a lot of beautiful energy into our lives. And connect with your ancestors here. Your ancestors may be sending you messages through animals too. So that might be why you need to um, spend time with animals. You might feel some type of a connection there. All right, so make an altar, which is, you know, a little temple, whatever you want to call it, you know, where you do like your meditation, prayers, stuff like that, where you light candles, if you're one of those people. But yeah, just have a sacred space, all right, where you can really clear your mind, you know, and center yourself, all right, and burn away things that no longer serve you aquas, all right? So let's get a couple cards from the tarot regarding this here with the spend time with animals. The connecting with the ancestors, making an altar in the burning bowl ritual. Make it a ritual to burn away shit, all right? All right. Wow, Aquarius, there you are. The lovely star. Beautiful. All right, so starting with your energy showing up very loud. So Aquarius, yes, some of you really need to have a health checkup. All right, just to make sure your organs, all that stuff are functioning good, you know, that kind of stuff. So all right, Aquarius, health checkup for some of you. I'm trying to see here. Hold on, let me see if I can quick find that. I'm being told the number is going to be significant on the card. And I don't hardly ever do this. So this is obviously important for you Aquariuses. All right. So pay attention. Watch. It's probably going to be at the freaking top. All right. Where is the health checkup? There it is. Number 26. All right. Is the number. <clears throat> Whether you break it down, you know. But the number 26 is going to be key in your life, somewhere in your life, somehow. All right. So we have the five of wands. I see you've got a lot of shit on your plate. A lot of shit on your plate. All right. The five of wands, ten of wands. The five of wands could mean conflict, it could be competition, it could be rivalry, it could be just opposing energies, but I don't know if you're just in conflict with yourself. You know, maybe that's what you need to focus on, Aquarius, is burning away things that you don't like about yourself, burning away things that you don't like about other people and what they bring into your life. All right, um, don't ever compete with nobody because it's pointless. All right. So some shadow work might be necessary. Shadow work is always good to do um, and continue to work on. Once you achieve a certain level of shadow work, it's just uphill from there. All right, so you're, you're carrying a lot of weight. You're carrying a lot of heavy energy. All right, so we'll see here 
what else is going on. Maybe you got some high blood pressure. Some of you may have high blood pressure and you need to get it checked out. That could be just what the five of wands is saying. Lower your stress. All right. If, if you got a lot of stress in your life, whether it's, you know, work, relationships, whatever in your life, work on fixing that. All right. We have here the nine of cups. So maybe you're just not happy because you're really not getting what it is that you want here. Um, you could be work focusing like the king of pentacles on business. Maybe you're not seeing things you know, advance or the profits aren't where you want them to be. Or maybe it's just so much fucking work with that 10 of wands. All right. Business like the king of wands or the king of uh, pentacles. That's a businessman. All right. That's, that's a person that's building, you know, their business up so that way they can have some financial stability. All right. But I feel like it's, it, it's weighing on you. All right. Um, be patient, though. All right. You just, yeah, like I said, you're not, I don't think you're very fulfilled yet. We have here the Empress. All right. So maybe you're fighting with your baby mama. Maybe you're having issues with your baby mama here or your wife, girlfriend, whatever. Um, over what it is that you really want. I see a lot of good energy, but it's there's something that needs to be done, Aquarius, before you can get this abundance, this, you know, stable, secure life here, um, whether it's business or not. There's something here that's getting in the way that you need to burn away. What is it for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to? All right. So there's conflict over money. It could be, you know, like I said, with that King of Pentacles. There could be some conflicts, arguments when it comes to your business, your money, your long-term stability here. All right, give me a little more on this Five of Wands, please. So somebody could be very greedy is what I'm getting because the Four of Pentacles wanted to come out. All right, somebody could be very greedy. So if you have a business partner, there could be five people that are in the business. Um, up to nine is what I'm getting for numbers or even 26. But yeah, see, there's something going on here. There's, there's a lot of shit with the five of swords. You need to really go in and think things thorough thoroughly all right because yeah something here is it's causing a lot of shit in your life whether it's causing a breakup a separation in your relationship whatever friendships but this is not good energy here all right something's just i don't even know there's like a there's an issue here when it comes to your job and your spirituality maybe because of two of cups. But I feel like maybe you just need to do a little bit of healing work. All right. Um, maybe you need to patch things up. Heal things with the mother of your child. Your girlfriend. Your wife. Or just your friends. Whatever. I don't. See there has something to do with. I don't know if you're like having arguments through text messages. Or what's going on here. But we do have the ten of cups. So, yeah, you could have had a falling out with somebody in your life over business, Aquarius. But you just keep going, all right? And keep going for your cup. What is actually fully going on here for Aquarius? Because I'm getting so many freaking things. So I don't know if there's multiple Aquariuses that I'm picking up on. Because I don't usually get hit with this much shit that's flowing through me right now. And it's getting, like, kind of clustered because it's like... When I channel and I focus on things and energy, it's like I forget things. So when I've got multiple messages just popping in my head, it's, it's <clears throat> I kind of start to get a little overwhelmed. Uh, we do have the Two of Swords at a crossroads here. I'm not sure what to do, where to go, very indecisive about 
what it is you want. Maybe business isn't as much is isn't as great as you thought it was going to be, you know, because running a business, owning a business, any of that shit, it's, it's a lot of work. And not everybody understands that until they go through it. All right. But I see that, you know, you're, you're a good person, good hearted person, but this five of wands just in this tower is really popping off. So you could be having some issues with family here. Maybe you have a family-owned business, all right? Maybe you run a business with your family and there's issues there, all right? Let's get this wrapped up for the aquas. What is really fully going on here? So I did see the Seven of Swords. You know, there could be some sneaky, deceptive, manipulative shit going on. We have a magician here. All right. So the magician can sometimes be a trickster, somebody who's just kind of, you know... Somebody that could cause a tower in the five of wands. And I feel like you're seeing this here. Some of you karma's just coming back around. What give me for the magician for the aquas before we wrap this up? We have yeah, see somebody here is very fucking greedy here with this magician. All right, they have a desire and a love for money here, and I feel like they may be even abusing their position here. All right. They need to focus on generosity. That could be an issue here. All right. Maybe you guys are talking about that through messaging or something. One more card for Aquas. I feel like there's still something that needs to come out for you guys. All right. For the Aquas, your reading's going to be a little longer. There's a reason why you were first. Your reading is very unique. But I feel like, yeah, just going out and connecting with yourself, your ancestors meditating stuff like that go for a health checkup like i said you, yeah see there's that king of pentacles again here all right with the emperor on this side and this was the ones that flipped over the five of pentacles here all right so you might feel like you're being left out of the business maybe you're not getting what you thought you were going to get out of this because you could be dealing with an emperor that's you know maybe ceo and you're just you know oh see C O O or C E O O. I can't remember which one it is for the ones that are notched down from the emperor, the CEO. But yeah, you feel abandoned. You're feeling left out. I feel like maybe you're even thinking about abandoning this situation altogether to be fulfilled here. Yeah, because if you walk away here, you're going to be fulfilled. Somebody's being sneaky and you're recognizing that with the seven of swords and the six of wands. Yeah, with the judgment, you're seeing this, that you're just getting offered a little tiny coin when you should be getting offered more king, queen of pentacle coins. And you've been thinking about this for a while with that four of swords. But I feel like with the king of wands here, I feel like, yeah, somebody is an arrogant jerk because the king of wands can be an arrogant prick at times. So can an emperor. So if you're dealing with an arrogant boss or business partner, I feel like you're starting to recognize and see that. Maybe it's raising your blood pressure. So, all right. But I'm going to leave that there for you, Aquas. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share, and have a beautiful day.